there are three big mistakes that hockey players are doing when they're training at home. I've been training players at home for the past five years and the random drills, the lack of tracking their progress and the zero fun is what is what's hurting you from taking your game to the next level. So stick around and I'm going to show you how to fix those mistakes. The first biggest thing that I'm seeing hockey players do are the random drills, right? There's no connection to the next thing. There's no progression to help you develop over time. And so we really need to make sure that when we're training at home, we have a focus right that we're doing this and then we're doing that because it leads to this and so that's why at project hockey we do the research we figure out what these superstars are doing we figure out what makes them click and we figure out what makes them have success on the ice and we put that into a progression that all you need to simply do is follow and do the work and see the results and so we need to make sure that we have that type of focus when we're training at home now, before we go any further, we want to help you with this. We want to make sure that you are connecting things, that you're progressing through stuff. And so scroll down, click the link, and we're going to send you some of these drills. We're going to send you stuff that follow a progression that help you develop as a hockey player, right? And this month, it's all about Connor Redard. We're seeing what he does on the ice. We're putting it into drills. Our members are completing those drills. Our members are seeing results. And so we want to send you some of those. Click the link. We'll send you those drills. We'll send you some hockey IQ to work that brain as well. That way you can get rid of these random drills and you can start to progress and develop over time with a plan that's thought out. The second biggest thing that I'm seeing is that we're not tracking our progress, right? We're just trying to write stuff down in a notebook or we're just trying to remember or making playlists on YouTube and it it's not working because the the lack of tracking your progress doesn't allow you to see where you started, doesn't allow to see where you're at, and it doesn't allow you to see where you're going. That's why at Project Jockey, we've created this app that gives you your own profile that you can see over time that, hey, this is where I was at two years ago, here's where I'm at now, and this is where I wanna go, and Project Hockey is helping me get there. We made it simple for you. All you do is download the app and start doing the work, and you're going to start seeing results. But the biggest thing you need to do is start tracking your progress the way in the way that's gonna allow you to get better at hockey, in the way that's gonna allow you to see your successes so you can build confidence and start to take your game to the next level. The third biggest thing that I'm seeing is that we're just not having fun. Training should be fun, the process should be fun. And when we're doing the same YouTube video over and over again, or when we're trying to make stuff up, it gets boring and it gets stagnant over time. And when you lose that excitement and you lose that fun, you stop doing it. And all of a sudden you went from training every day at home to once a week to, ah, I don't really do it. Maybe if my coach tells me to do it. We need to have fun. We need to make sure things are creative. We need to make sure that the drills are new and fresh and these ideas are helping us want to come and train at home, right? It takes a special type of hockey player that wants to wake up, come in their garage, start stick handling for a while, do some different strength work and some different progressions to help you get better. And it takes motivation and it takes discipline, but we got to make sure we're having fun. That's a huge piece of the ingredient that's going to allow you to wake up and do that stuff. That's going to want you to come and do that stuff. And so keeping things fun, keeping things fresh is, fresh is what we do at Project Hockey. Uh, we do new stuff every single day and we're excited to help you find the fun and training at home because as soon as you do that, as soon as you get rid of those random drills, as soon as you start to track your progress and the fun is all sprinkled in there, you're going to start to see the results and you're going to start to see that development and you're going to start to see more goals, more assists, more passes, more big hits, more block shots, more things on the ice that coaches love to see that scouts love to see. Now all of a sudden you went from doing boring drills in your garage to doing a progression, to doing something that allows you to see that you're getting better over time, which shows up on the ice, which shows up on paper, which shows up in scouts' eyes, and, and now all of a sudden you're, you're playing big time hockey and you're starting to reach those goals because you're putting in the work. That's the biggest things I see, right? We're doing random drills. We are not tracking our progress. We're not having fun. And what that's all leading to is burnout or it's leading to not doing anything at all. And so click the link below so we can send you those drills so you can start to have that focus. Take our 14 day free trial so you can start to track your progress and be a part of our community so you can start to have fun and train with other people that are like-minded that want to play at the top of each level at every age every single year join us we're having fun we're getting better and 
And like I say, we're doing the work.